Triple H is taking off the suit and tie, stepping into the ring tonight to show why he's still the game. These superstars are about to put on a clinic in tag team competition, guys. That's how good they are. The King of Kings, Triple H, is looking as imposing tonight oh, man. than at any point during his dominant 20-year reign. You know, normally I'd accuse you of kissing up to the boss, Byron, but that assessment's actually pretty spot on. Well, thanks. Now oh, the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. His head crank. Look at the torque. Elbow drop, big time. Ooh. Oh, what a punch! That's how you stop your opponent. Harsh impact. in the midsection. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members Natalya and Carmella. The rivalry between these women got so intense that Naomi was in Flair and Lynch's corner and Tamina was in Natalya and Carmella's corner. Unceremoniously deposited down. Elbow drop. Ooh. I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalia's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. That was until Carmella's overconfidence let the Irish last kicker turn the tide and get back into the match. And then it was elementary from there for the Irish-born superstar. Naomi did an excellent job of making sure any quote-unquote committee nonsense cost her girls the match. Once Becky Lynch got Carmella locked in the disarmor, there was nothing for the Staten Island Princess to do but to tap out. And it didn't take long for that to happen. Big boot. Boom, what impact. Sharp knee. Randy Orton is one of the most dominant competitors in WWE history with few weaknesses. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Going all the way up. Incredible impact. What's he doing? brought up Orton's many shoulder injuries earlier, and my quick research corroborates that. He suffered one just six months into his career and has been out of action as recently as 2016 due to shoulder issues. Well, even if you don't re-injure the Apex Predator's shoulder, it's still smart to target it as you'll drastically reduce the effectiveness of his RKO. Down with a neck breaker. Members of the WWE Universe and the WWE Locker Room have felt that tag team matches... And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. Oh, what impact. Oh, my gosh. Oh, flying forearm on the mark. Big flying 
forearm. What? Just punched him right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. God. Byron, earlier you raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon used to express his strong advocacy for two referees being appointed to tag team matches. Uh, it's something that's been talked about for decades, Michael, and I don't think it's ever going to happen. We've seen it on occasion, but I think it's best to let the superstars be responsible for themselves. And the appointed official for the match needs to do the job they're paid to do. I don't think it's that much to ask. When this guy's on, look out. Harsh impact. Oh, right to the side of the face. You gotta believe this one's over. Boom, what impact. Beautiful technique. The challenger not in a great place. His hopes of winning this tag team match are starting to dwindle. Why he's still in the match at this point is beyond me, guys. Oh, maybe he forgot it's a tag team match. I don't know. There's got to be some explanation. In a back-and-forth match like this, he has to do everything in his power not to let his opponent gain too much momentum here. A bit of a show of strength here. Yeah, I don't care how strong you are. It's not easy to walk around carrying another superstar. He's looking a little wobbly here, guys. Michael, his legs look like they're about to give out on him. Tag team history was made when the first ever SmackDown tag team champions were crowned and Backlash 2016. The unlikely duo of Rhino and Heath Slater caught lightning in a bottle and ran through the tag team title tournament. In the finals, Rhino and Slater took on the Usos to see which team would be the inaugural Tag Team Champions. There was a lot on the line in the Tag Team Tournament Finals. The Usos wanted to add another Tag Team title reign to their resume and enjoyed the recognition of being the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. The team of Rhino and Heath Slater was the team no one expected to be in the finals. Slater had extra motivation because he was fighting for a WWE contract. And at one point, it seemed like the Usos had everything wet. Randy Orton is getting ready here. Impact. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Kurt Angle's chances just went from bad to worse. Yeah, it doesn't look good. For a few years, Randy Orton brought his career to even greater heights by aligning with the authority as their personally appointed face of the WWE. Set him up for something here. And whatever it is, it's going to hurt, and it's going to hurt bad. Look at this. That's the impact. But he's got to capitalize now. Momentum is fully in the corner of Randy Orton now. <laughs> oh man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Michael Penny predicament. What an incredible tag team contest. These superstars put on quite a show. Here's another look. He's getting after it here. Oh, I can't believe this. Look at him go. And I always enjoy watching him perform. Here are your winners, and still NXT Tag Team Champion, The Viper, Randy Orton, and The Animal, Batista. What an amazing victory here to claim the coveted Tag Team Championship. Tag teams beware, these two guys are legit. We've got an animated crowd here tonight as we usually do when we're in Orlando.